In this video, I show you three alternative ways to use a ring flash. Adorama TV presents Take and Make Great Photography with Gavin Hoey, where you'll learn how to take stunning photos and then polish them in post-production. Hello, I'm Gavin Hoey, and you're watching Adorama TV, brought to you by Adorama, the camera store that has everything for us photographers. And today I'm joined in the studio by Ify. He's a grime artist of some repute here in the UK, and we're going to take some pictures of him using the Orbis ring flash. Now, ring flashes are great, and most people use ring flashes in exactly the way I'm doing here, just grabbing your flash and shooting straight through the middle. And it gives a wonderful result. You get a very distinctive, flat, almost shadowless light that's so popular with fashion photography. But these things can do much more than just that. They're not a, a one-trick pony. They can be used in all sorts of different ways to create amazing portraits. And we're going to have a look at three different ways right now. So for our first setup, we're going to do something a little different. We're not going to shoot through the hole of the, the ring flash. We're just going to use the ring flash as if it was a small softbox. So to trigger this off camera, I'm going to use the pop-up flash on my Canon 60D. That's set as master, and the Canon 580EX Mark II flash is set as the slave, so we can do off-camera flash. All we need to do is just set the light up. OK, if you're ready? Yep. OK, so if you want to pull your hood up, we're going to go for a, a kind of a mean, dark look with this one. So we'll just get the, the light angled over, and we're going to fly it high, but only just out of shot. So it's going to come up around about there. Let's try not to hit you with the light. That's pretty good. OK, so uh, we're on full power with the flash. I'm on F8, ISO 100 with the camera. Let's take a test shot and see how that goes. So my test shot, actually, that looks pretty good. I reckon we got it pretty much bang on there, but we can see a little bit too much of the eyes in the picture. And I want this actually to have the eyes disappear. I want it to have a really mean feel. And by taking the eyes away, that's hopefully what we'll get. So if you can pull that hood really far forward, that's better. That's perfect. And we're going to get a shot just like that. Wonderful. Now, because we've got no light hitting the eyes, and that's kind of the idea, I do have to watch the position of the light, so I'm going to move it just an inch or two forward, and the position is critical, just a tiny little bit, and it makes all the difference to the shot. Okay, so that's a really good shot, just simply using the, the Orbis as an off-camera softbox. Let's move things around again and do something different. So for the second setup, we're going to do something very similar. We're still going to keep the flash off camera, and we're going to keep it really close to iffy so we get some beautiful soft lighting. Now remember, when it comes to soft lighting, the size of the light source relative to the subject is what makes the lighting soft. And if you want to find out more information about soft light, check out the Adorama Learning Center for some great tips and advice. Now, you don't have to stick with just the Orbis ring flash. You can mix flashes together. So as well as the ring flash, I've got two more flashes in the background, and they're going to be facing the camera. So what should happen, this is the idea, those should go fire flash. We'll get a beautiful ring lighting around uh, Iffy, and we should get some great flare. But then Iffy's going to be lit by the, the ring flash itself just to put some great light in the face. That's the idea. Now, to get this to work really well, Iffy's actually going to do some uh, vocal piece to the flash, okay? So he's actually gonna be looking up at the light so we get some light in the face. Okay, let's take some pictures. Okay, Iffy, let's just start with a test shot for me. So if you'd wanna take a little step that way. Yep. Here we go, and we'll do a test shot before we get going. Okay, so a quick test shot is important because if you don't do a test shot, you don't know what you're gonna get. And when I'm looking at this, I'm seeing that that looks a little bit dark. Now I could go around and change all the lights, but looking at my camera here, I'm on F8. So if I open up the aperture a little bit, so let's go to F4, that's going to give me more light from all of the flashes and hopefully make this a bit brighter. One more test shot. Brilliant, perfect, that's exactly what I'm after. Okay, so my lights are set. If you, are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready, yeah. Okay. Away you go. I don't suffer from insanity. They confuse my confidence with vanity. They say I keep looking in the mirror. Justify, I keep seeing the future. Now I've got that off my chest. I find myself at the bridge. Was gonna have a tea, but I opted for a hot chocolate because I've got options. They say the jack of all traits is a master of naught. I'm the jack of all traits, but I mastered them all. Export MP3, I mastered a lot. And it's mad on the bridge. Before I got back on the strip, I need to find Gav for a pick. 
Don't forget to check out Adorama's latest contest and your chance to win amazing prizes. For the third setup, we're going to go back to using the, the ring flash and the camera, and they're just hooked together with a little ETTL cord because I'm going to use this as a little off camera softbox, but it's never going to be more than a few, well, inches away from the camera. But we can get some great reflections out of this thing. So we've got Ify here wearing a very stylish pair of Ray Bans, looking super smart, and we're going to use the, the sunglasses to reflect the shape of the Orbis ring flash back to the camera. Okay, let's take a few pictures and see how this goes. Okay, so you want to go right back up against the wall. And if you want to just sort of slump back, that's the way. That's it. Okay, so what I'm doing is I'm looking in the reflection of the glasses and I'm trying to see my, my ring flash. And when I see it, I'm going to take a shot and that's going to put the, the flash straight back as a reflection. And we're going to get a great little shot that way. So it's coming really close. We'll go for a really wide angle shot which normally we wouldn't do as a portrait. But on somebody like Ify, grime artist extraordinaire, <laughs> that works pretty well. <laughs> okay, so what I've done is I've taken my, my Orbis and I've printed off a little circle and with a bit of uh, cutting and, and sticking, I've just made this little star pattern to go around the outside. Now the reflection I'm gonna get back from this is gonna be, well, different to the normal ring. Let's give it a whirl. Okay, here we go. So I'm just going to come in here. And it reflects back with a circle of stars. Absolutely brilliant. Okay, so for the very last shot, I've just switched lenses. I've switched to a fisheye lens, which is normally a lens we don't recommend for portraits, but in this case, if he's kind of a stylish guy and this is going to give a real stylized shot, let's give it a whirl. Here we go. So we're going to come in here. And with the fish eye, I've got to be careful I don't get my own, uh, my own flash in the shot. But we get some great shots with the, the Orbis reflecting back stars in his eyes, quite literally. Uh, and that really does look really smart. I love that. That's superb. Okay, so there we go. There are three different things you can do with an everyday ring flash that isn't traditional ring flash photography. It's all about experimenting, about trying different ideas and seeing what works and what doesn't. Now, all we need to do is get one of these pictures into Photoshop and we'll do some editing on it right now. It's always great when you come out of a shoot with lots of pictures, in fact, too many to choose from for editing purposes. But the one I'm going to do is one from the early part of the shoot where we use the, the Orbis ring flash simply as an off camera small softbox. So this is the raw file. We're here inside of Photoshop CC, although this would be exactly the same if you're in Lightroom's develop module. Now, really, the first thing I'm going to do is what I, what I had in my head, and that was to take the clarity slider and really push this hard. Now, normally with clarity, we would go the other way. We'd go and soften things out, but this isn't that kind of portrait. This is a hard, gritty, very low-key, moody shot, and this will take lots and lots of clarity. Next thing I'm going to do is just have a look at the blacks in this picture because it really is low-key. I'm going to turn on the clipping warning for the blacks, and I can see there are a few, but not as many as I would like. So let's get the black slider and we'll just pull this down until basically everything goes black. Okay, we can turn off the warnings now, that's fine. So now I know I've got some really nice deep blacks in there, and that's what gives this picture really that low key feel, those heavy oppressive blacks. Uh, whites, yeah, we could probably do with a little bit more whites in here as well, just to give uh, a little bit more brightness. But you'll look at the histogram, and if you didn't see the picture, you'd think this is a very underexposed picture. That's why histograms should only ever be used as a guide rather than a rule, because it's, a, a, it's absolutely fine. Colors, well, I'm actually going to bring the vibrance down on this picture, just to mute the colors down a little bit, something like that. But I will push the saturation up a tiny bit, just so we don't lose all color in there. And that gives me, again, that nice kind of moody color scheme. Okay, now that's everything I want to do here as far as the global changes goes. And Photoshop Raw and Lightroom are able to do both global changes and local changes. And by local changes, I mean using a paintbrush. And the brush here in Photoshop Raw is this one, the adjustment brush. So with the adjustment brush, I can change all sorts of things. But the thing I really want to change at the moment is probably just the highlights. So on Photoshop, I can just simply click the minus sign. Everything else gets reset, and I can just bring the highlights down because these are the brightest parts of the picture, and I don't want them to be. So let's just cover those up, and maybe not quite as dark as that. I want the, the mouth area and the face to be the brightest part. 
So that's looking pretty good. Now, obviously we have the issue with the, the hoodie. Um, actually, this is my hoodie, not Ify's. I, I loaned him this for the purposes of photography. So if there's any style issues, it's not because he isn't stylish, it's because he borrowed my jacket. But the hood is a little bit too bright and it makes sense because it's being, it's being lit from above, isn't it? So that's where the, the bright part's gonna be. And we just need to tone that down just a, a little bit. So here with the adjustment brush, I'll add a new pin. And this time I'm just gonna set the exposure. Let's go minus two stops. And we'll get a nice big brush. And we'll just loosely paint over the top of his hood like that. Okay, that looks pretty good. Now I'm gonna do it again. So let's make another new brush and we'll start in a different place. So we get the pin in a different place and we'll just paint in the edges just to soften that down. Okay, that look feels much more menacing now, that's good. Last thing is the eyes. Now I deliberately let the eyes go dark. That was part and parcel of the shot and the look. They're not completely dark though, have a, have a close look. When you have a close look, you'll be able to see that things aren't totally dark in the eyes. If we just zoom in down here, uh, there are just the merest hint there, depending on how you've got your monitor set up, you may just be able to see them. Just to bring them out just a tiny little bit, I'm gonna get the shadows, we'll make another new brush, and we'll make the shadows just a little bit brighter, just to bring a tiny little bit of detail out from that part of the picture. Okay, so just a little bit brighter on the shadows, so there is the hint of eyes, and maybe just a little bit more clarity on there as well, just so they, they come through. Now, trouble is, if you go and do something like that, and we go in even closer, you will see there is quite a bit of noise starting to appear. And bearing in mind I've done no noise reduction at all so far, what I would do here is just find the noise reduction for that pin, and let's just make sure we're working on the right pin, we are. Uh, so I'm gonna take the noise reduction all the way up to maximum, and we'll bring the moiré reduction up as well, and that helps to remove those sort of stripy lines that you can sometimes get. So there we go, that's a great picture and a great result. And using the Orbis Ring Flash has really given us some creative options. Now, if you wanna see more videos from myself and the other amazing presenters here on Adorama TV, you've gotta click on the subscribe button. <laughs> I'm Gavin Hoey, that's Ify, thanks for watching. great looking prints at low cost, be sure to visit our easy to use online printing service. Adorama Pix has professionals who treat your images with the utmost care that you can count on. For a quick turnaround on photos, cards, or albums, use adoramapix.com.